clang clang boys. Seriously. What's up everybody, Badass Games. Today, continuing on with the Tomb Raider 1 series, we are now in the first set of the Egyptian levels, known as the City of Kamun. Alright, and if you didn't get a chance to watch the cinematic, you have to go back, uh, it's in the playlist somewhere. Here we are at the very top of this section, and what we want to do is we want to fall off this edge, but we gotta be careful because we go, if we fall down from here, we'll take some damage. You can fall and grab this ledge, and you can actually shimmy all the way over to the right if you want, if you're not, uh, trustworthy in your jumping abilities. But if you happen to fall down in here, you can jump and grab that, um, ledge if you want from here too, or you can climb up on that stone to get to it, or you just do a standing jump into this section right here where we find a lever. And we're gonna pull the lever. The lever is gonna open a door down here. Right here, this door is now open, and now we have this block that we can move, and we're gonna pull this out. We're gonna pull this out twice. One more time should do it. We need to hit this box lined up with the other box that is uh, sitting up there to the left. So that way we can drag this box along the top of it. Because we need this box on this side of that little trench there. So we're going to pull this again. We need this box up against this little pillar that's behind me right now. And so we're going to hop over this thing and uh, push it all the way up against it. We're going to use that to hop up there at the, when we leave this section, but we're not going to leave just yet. Because, uh, there's some items we're forgetting. We could drop down here, we got this block right here. Um, if we pull it out, then we will find a little alcove that it was hiding. And it had some items in it, we need to go grab those items. We don't want to forget that, man. Some magnum clips and a small med pack. How awesome, you know? Grab your things and then let's leave. Alright, so we moved this blocks right here. We can hop up to the top of this thing right here now. Since we did that, we don't have to worry about moving anything else. We can climb up to this and then uh, climb out over here. We gotta shimmy over to the right to climb out though. Now be careful on your way out of here, we're gonna have to fight a um, panther. He's gonna be on the right side, so don't let him freak you out. Uh, use your shotgun, because the shotgun uh, tends to do a good job persuading him. So we got rid of him, and now, uh, before we go anywhere else, let's jump up here and grab some items. We got a small med pack here on this ledge. And then behind me, we'll find uh, some magnum ammo. Just laying up here. Don't know who put it up there, but we're gonna take it. Uh, select the pistols, and we're gonna encounter a new type of enemy, similar to an enemy that we saw in the last level, Tuma Tehilkin. That little big thing broke away and was shooting balls at us. Uh, they're Atlanteans, I guess, in that, uh... They are going to try to attack you. Now, these guys are wild. They're crazy. Look at him go. Man, he's going nuts. Fortunately, we're up above. He can't attack us. We're just going to rain down some fire on him from here until he explodes. Now, these guys explode, too. And, in fact, um, it didn't show it this time. Um, for some reason, sometimes it does, they don't explode. Not in this level, at least. Um, but their, uh, their body pieces, when they land, they explode and they do damage to you. So, on top of them being alive, being able to do damage, when they die and explode, their, their body parts do damage to you, too. Alright, so jump down this water, this cold, dead water. Lara doesn't mind. There's items here, and she doesn't seem to want to pick this one up. I don't know what her issue was. Oh, well, we got it, finally. Here's another one. So, two things of magnum ammo in the water. Now, we want to climb out of the water in a particular spot. That's over here, where you see this greenery. This shrubbery growing on the side of the walls. We want to hop up here. Okay, this is going to give us access to another item that's kind of hidden. Sort of. And uh, we wanna, we're going to want to jump over to this pillar to the left. Because on top of there is some shotgun shells. And uh, I'm going to be using the shotgun a lot, especially against the Atlanteans. I've noticed that they do a really good job against those things. Okay, let's hop down this thing and you'll notice uh, this pillar that I was on top of as um, receptacles for items and stuff, and it is true, we will be uh, putting items in there. 
Um, however, we're not going to be doing that in this video, unfortunately. We will be returning to do so. Okay, so now we've got all the extra items in this area. Let's go ahead and get this, the items that really matter and continue in, on to the left, rest of the level. Um, in order to get up here, a good easy way is to stand on the side of the Sphinx and jump and grab this ledge right here. Pull yourself up, you want to run along the left side of this, otherwise you'll hit your head and you won't be able to come underneath here. But behind the head of the Sphinx, we will find a save crystal, a, a sapphire key, and some shotgun shells. So let's grab all that stuff, save your game if you'd like, and then continue on. Um, be careful there, they're actually, you can fall down and take some damage there if you're not careful. It doesn't hurt that bad, but whatever. You've been warned. Okay, now right here in front of the Sphinx is a movable block. We can move this out. We want to pull this thing just once. Um, you can move it around other places, but it really doesn't do you any good. The only thing it's doing is blocking your passage. So just move it out, and then continue into the Sphinx. This is where the key goes that we just claimed. If you uh, didn't get this key, then it's behind the head of the Sphinx up above. So we'll go grab that thing. Now, we're going to enter this room, and uh, be wary, because we're about to fight another panther. Like, head-to-head. -head. Or you can hop on the ledges and shoot him from up there if you want. I'm just gonna use a shotgun and blow him away. Blow his face away real quick. Three shots seems to do it pretty well. Um, I've had him die within two shots before, but I guess I got pretty lucky for that. those shots. Whatever. Small med pack here on this ledge. And then to get across here, you just hop. We're gonna hop. And, uh, end here because this is where we want to turn and go down. This is the corridor. This is the proper passageway. At the very end of here, we're going to find another panther to jump out as you try to scare you. But, uh, I warned you, so you shouldn't be, uh, you shouldn't have to jump at that spot. Blow them away. Three shots or two shots, whatever it's going to take to get them to go. I'll pull out my pistols now. Whoops. Because we're going to be blowing away a uh, crocodile that's down below here. Another save crystal if you want to use it. Yeah, just uh, lay waste to him from up above and then fall down. Now, uh, turn around if you fall down because there's this long passageway here at the very end of which there's a large med pack. I'm gonna grab it. Take it with us. And then, cat a corner in this room from where we grab the large med pack. We're gonna find the first secret of the level. Not very hard to get, but um, there's some slopes here. You gotta be careful. You can. It's kind of hard to get to. Just uh, take the path that I went, and you will find the first secret, which contains a large med pack. And that's not all. It's kind of hidden. Don't forget to pick these up. There's the magnum clips. Awesome. We have all that stuff. Here is a pool. Now we um, we can go in that pool. Um, and right here is a uh, statue of a cat, and that's pretty cool. Yeah, the the trap doors all around that cat we're gonna be opening here in a second. So let's fall in the water. We're gonna follow the corridor over here. If you notice, I went to the right after I entered the water. You'll find this corridor, and then you'll find a lever here on the wall. It's pretty well noticeable. Hard to miss. Open this door and get some lovely music. That lovely Tomb Raider tunes, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and an alligator. And uh, let's pull out our pistols. Blow them. Actually, let's pull out our... I don't want to sit here and shoot them for five minutes. Uh, come on back. There we go. There we go. Cool. Dead alligator. Now, what we want to do while we're in this room... You want to come to this edge right here. This is going to give us access to the up here. I mean, it's easy jump, really. Just That's how you get up here really easily. And you'll find a movable block right here. We're going to want to get behind this thing... ...and push it a couple times. Only a couple, only two. We just want to move this twice for now. We're going to be moving it again, though. Let it rest right there, hop on top of it, and turn to the right. Or, not the right, but the left. There's an opening. Let's climb up here. This is going to give us access to a switch that's going to uh, open up. It's not going to open anything, actually. It's going to move a, um, a pillar out from the wall that we can hop on later and get us out of this section. You see that gold thing sticking out from the wall now? That's that's what we did. We moved it out. And above there, you see a trap door. we got to go open that next. 
So let's hop over there. Actually, we want to be on the other side of this block. I want to push this thing. We're going to push this thing all the way to the edge over there. You see the save crystal. Well, over to the right of that, we're going to be pushing it all the way over there. After this, you just gotta hop on the other side of it and push it. And this is the last push for this block. We don't have to worry about it. But now that the block is in this position, you should probably be forewarned about one thing. If you fall down below, now that was the ledge that we used to get up here. It's not so simple to get up here if you fall down below since you have the block in that position. What you want to do if you do fall down, in order to get up here, you have to come to this edge right here, and you have to do the whole jump and hold forward, and she'll eventually grab the ledge and pull herself up. Okay? Um, the reason why I say that is because this guy up here, there's we're about to uh, face off with an Atlantean, like head-to-head -head face off with an Atlantean, and that sucks, I know. Um, what we gotta do here, we're gonna draw our shotgun, actually we're gonna put the shotgun away. As soon as I move this block, we're gonna have to face off with that Atlantean, and he might actually atta attack while I'm still moving the block, so, um, yeah, wish me luck. I mean, no med pack run, this is gonna be pretty interesting. Let's give it a shot, though. There he is. Where is he? Ah, he's dead. Alright, he's dead. And there's a switch in here. This is what we needed to pull to open that hatch that I spoke about just a second ago. And let's move this block back. Uh, one more spot. And we're gonna use that block to get up to that hatch. Um, take note, also, you see the boulder there behind the gate? I didn't mention that. I, I should've because you might get crushed by it. If you die to that boulder, then it's my fault, I suppose. Sorry, guys. Uh, we want to jump on top of this golden thing and then hop up here. Just turn and jump. Grab this ledge. Pretty simple. And over here is a, a lever. And this lever is what's going to open up those trapdoors that was surrounding that cat statue that we saw before. It'll give you the it'll give you the picture where uh, what uh, happened. So that's good. Since that's done, let's hop over to the here. Now we're going to go get a secret. Right? We're going to get a secret. There's uh, the secret's actually right down there. You see the uh, Uzi clips. Yeah, that's the secret. We're gonna go over there, but we gotta go a nice little route to get there. You see a bunch of other items, too. Maybe if you look on top of the blue roof, you can possibly see some magnum ammo. We're gonna get that, and then there's a small med pack right above Lara's head on some ledge. Just just past the water. And we're gonna get that, too. And, um, to do all this, we hop over to here, and before we go down anywhere, you gotta be careful, okay? Because, uh, that slow, that's a slope platform. You slide all the way down, you can't get back up here unless you go all the way back around. Pick up these magnum ammo clips. If you uh, are going for items, then there you go. There's that. Here is a slope. Slide down. Find the small mid pack. Run, jump to this here ledge. And now we're gonna um, we're gonna run and jump directly toward those magnum ammo, and then just roll on the ground, and we'll actually land directly on top of them. Hold the action button, you'll pick them right up. And now, we need to uh, run and jump over to those uh, Uzi clips. Um, you're gonna kinda wanna angle to the right past the ledge, so that way she uh, veers to the proper direction to land on the corner of this tile. Cueing the secret, claiming the Uzi clips, withdrawing the guns, so that way we can cause that crocodile down there to die. All right, he's dead. Now, um, if you remember, I told you about that boulder. That boulder is right below me. You can activate it by just dangling here. You don't have to worry about getting crushed by it. So now that that's out of the way, let's hop over here, and we're going to fall down here. All the way down. We took a little bit of damage. That's fine. If you don't want to take damage, there is this ledge right here that you can fall on in order to make it down here. Uh, magnum ammo right here. There's magnum ammo everywhere here, okay? So you should be walking away with plenty of magnum ammo. If you're not using your magnums here, then you're pretty much just, uh... <laughs> well, you can use your pistols if you want. There's no pistol runs if you're uh, if that's your thing. Um, I used to be into that kind of thing, but I kind of like watching things die fast. I don't know. 
So, um, there's some, uh, tigers, or not tigers, but panthers down there. We can shoot up with the pistols for now. If they can hide, they'll go, like, hide behind this pillar or whatever, and that's kind of annoying. Yeah, that sucks. I can't shoot any of them. Well, this one's gonna come back around, I guess. Get some damage on him. Oh, he's gotta be pretty close to dead. There we go. There's that one. Well, I'm not gonna see. Oh, I just rolled off. That's not what I wanted to do. This is unfortunate. This is super unfortunate. I hit the wrong button. I don't want to use a med pack either. Alright, that's it. I don't even know why I'm using my pistols. I was just talking crap about using your pistols, and here I am using my pistols. Pick the magnums up. Oh man, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this now. Dang, that sucks. Um, let's go in this door. There's a large mid pack. Not that I'm gonna be using it, but there's one there anyway. We got all those panthers out of the way, and we, what we want to do. I am missing an item still, by the way, and I need to go back and get that if I want to get all the items. It's over there. Uh, I think I might just say screw it. Um. There's a, uh, some magnum ammo over there behind that cat statue. I fell off that ledge while I was trying to shoot the, uh, panthers. I should have picked those up before I started doing that. Oh well. By getting on this ledge right here, you actually, uh, spawn some of those panthers. And they're down there now, growling at you. But, we're gonna ignore them for now. Over here's the third and final secret of the level. Get the, uh, shotgun shells. And pull out your pistols. And just unload on these guys from up above. Don't hit the roll button. I've learned the hard way that that's not a good thing, especially when you're trying to do a walkthrough. It doesn't really work out that well. Why won't these things just die? Um, yeah, before I pull the lever, and it opened up a trap door, and that would happen, that trap door is right above here, too, by the way, it's up there, so, there is that, indeed. Okay, so, uh, by standing up there, the other door down here opened, um, this was actually shut just a little bit ago, each of these doors have two panthers behind them, and there's two panthers in the middle for a grand total of six panthers, so... Uh, you should have killed six panthers. Should be six dead bodies here if you're, um, looking for the kill count. Now, I've got the secret. I'm just missing those magnum clips, which I'm kind of sad about, but that's fine. Don't forget about them on your playthrough or whatever. Alright, now we got to face off with another Atlantean, and I have, like, no life. So this should be fun. But I got a shotgun, and he doesn't. And I succeeded. I mean, I was that was the guy I was worried about. I think I've got this in the bag. Awesome. I'm happy about that. Let's climb up here. There's a hole. I'm gonna put Laura through it. Climb some steps. Now when we get to this room, you'll see this uh this little stand right in front of you. Climb it. On top of it, there is a key. This is the uh, key that's gonna end the level for us. So uh, don't forget that. Be bad. Be bad if you forgot that. Um, if you do forget it, that's fine. You uh, you will have an opportunity to get it again. I mean, um, I'll sh I'll tell you when you get to the end of the level. When we get to the end of the level, just hop your way over here. There's some magnum ammo. Good. And a switch. What the switch is gonna do is, uh, if you remember. There was a huge pile of sand that I climbed on to get up here. And uh, what the switch did is it released a trapdoor that was underneath the sand, letting all of the sand out. There's gonna be sand everywhere down there now. Everywhere. Ugh. Down here. Okay, so, um, 
over there is where I got the key. And just walk off the edge here, she'll slide just fine down. And, uh, you want to climb all the way up here. Now, if you forgot the key, and you came down here, you have the sand down here, then you want to go back into that corridor right there, and it'll take you back up there, and you can grab the key. And, uh, don't forget it. You decide to go that way again. And here is the keyhole. If you don't have that key, go get the key. You need the key to beat the level, for sure. Pop the key in the hole. Doors will open, go through them, and you end the level. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Badass Games. I uh, missed one pickup. Wow, uh, those magnum clips. Um, the kill counts maximum three to three secrets. I didn't use a health pack. Almost needed to. <laughs> um, anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm Badass Games. Take it easy.